next poem is by C.J. Gaddafi, the Greek poet, called As You Set Out for Ithaca. It was made famous um, because it was a favorite of Jackie Kennedy's and was played at her funeral. It was also played at the funeral, or recited at the funeral of my good friend David E. As you set out for Ithaca, hope your road is a long one full of adventure and excitement. Lastragonians, Cyclops, angry Poseidon, don't be afraid of them. You'll never find things like that on your way as long as you keep your thoughts raised high, as long as a rare excitement stirs your spirit and your body. Lastragonians, Cyclops, wild Poseidon, you'll not encounter things like that unless you bring them along with you, inside your own soul, unless your soul sets them up in front of you. Hope your road is a long one. May there be many summer mornings where with what pleasure, what joy, you come into harbors, seeing them for the first time. May you visit Phoenician trading posts and buy many fine things, mother of pearl, coral, amber, ebony, sensual perfumes of every kind, as many sensual perfumes as you can. May you visit Egyptian cities and learn and learn again from their scholars. Keep Ithaca always on your mind. Arriving there is your destiny, but better if it takes years to reach the island and you are old by the time you arrive wealthy with all you have gained along the way, not expecting Ithaca to make you rich. It was Ithaca that gave you the marvelous journey. She has nothing left to give you now. And if arriving you find Ithaca poor, she will not have fooled you. Wise as you will have become, so full of experience, you will understand by then what these Ithacas are for. This one is um, by the poet Ulrich uh, Schaefer, and uh, it is called, uh, He Has Decided to Row Across the Atlantic. He has decided to row across the Atlantic. The boat is ready. He has food and water for two months. When he pushes off, a young woman appears with black hair more beautiful than any he has ever seen. She says, take me along. He knows it's the right thing to do. The food will be enough for both of them. He does not speak. She gets into the boat. The people on the shore cry and cross themselves. Soon, he notices how she helps with the rowing. Silence is her strength. She talks to the fish and they jump into the boat. She reads the sextant and tells him direction. She articulates his thoughts and he thinks new thoughts. Her strength is like a sail, converting all winds into forward motion. He watches her while he rows and he does not tire. When they sight Ireland, his eyes are healed by the green. No one had expected them this soon. It is calm, and he rows the last strokes with his back to the island. When he lands, he's alone. He had almost expected it. He knows, however, that she will never leave him. He knows this more certainly than he has ever known anything. Every day, he lets her name melt on his lips, and it nourishes his whole being. 